that uh, this is also blocked. Uh -huh. This is pretty blocked every day. Okay. Morning, uh, it's blocked all the day. And especially considering the fact that we are wearing masks now. Huh. It's, yeah, it's, uh, it's difficult, it's correct. Difficult. Hi friends, so we have this uh, patient uh, who's come from Kerala, which is not actually very far from where we are. Uh, but his main concern is he, of course, he desires some improvement in the shape of his nose. But he has a very common problem of late. I hear from a lot of my patients of late. That is, he has blocked nose and it gets worsened because of the mask. So nowadays, because of the pandemic, a lot of us are wearing masks all the time. Uh, my aunt is also one of them included and there are many patients like you now because of the increased amount of wearing mask and the mask itself has some allergic things yeah. you know there's no real standardization so people are allergic to mask or whose condition get worsens i would recommend you to wear a surgical mask like this this has some kind of a from a reputed company because that has a particular n95 is also probably good enough but i would think surgical is even better because they have certain basic um, standards yeah. which they adhere to so it might just help you to uh, reduce your issue but really those people who have blocked nose or who have a functional problem it obviously exaggerates wearing mask because you know the percentage of oxygen carbon dioxide many things change when you wear mask it's tight and we're not wearing it for a short periods of time these we are wearing it for hours on end so that could be a concern right so you're worried about that then you're worried about the fact that uh, uh, you have bulbous tip and very thick skin these, these are the uh, i mean I, I would not say these are the secondary but my secondary concern okay would be the functionality definitely no we will we will take care of the functional issue as you're saying so let me have a scan taken we'll go through the scans i'll let you know clearly uh, what we're looking at so there will be some form of septoplasty yeah. because your main issue is a block nose uh, after which i'll also explain how we can alter the change yeah okay. uh, not dramatically yeah. but significant enough yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to, to be an avocation or I want to be the South Indian. Yeah, it will be that way. You will be a typical Dravidian. That's no, we're not going to change that. It's not possible. But your face is quite angular and narrow, while your nose is a little bit not proportionate because it's a little bit, um, I don't think, too broad or too flat. So we'll try and get that part sorted out. Okay, so we'll take the scans and then. Oh, that's nice. Where's the axle? Yeah, so you can see the lack of space for breathing, oh. you know. So when you see this color, it means it's empty or there's air. Okay. This is bone okay. and this is tissue in between. Okay. And you have to look carefully for the muscles, but easily to say, these are all air. Yeah. So there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. So what you see here, you see, this is a pathway for you to breathe. To breathe. Uh -huh. okay. So here, you see, it's because of the swollen tissues, um, you, because also probably because of your allergic condition. Yeah, you will probably is have. Is that the bone? Or this is the bone in the center. Okay, and the, the, the Side ones are not bone. That is bone, but on top of the bone, you have the uh, mucosa that's okay. enlarged. Okay, okay. And here, uh, as I'm moving, you can see the different. So here, you see, it's, it should be symmetrical, pretty much. Okay. There is a little deviation also. Uh, it's not exactly straight. Okay, so we should be able to get you reasonable functionality with your problem. And you can see here, and uh, there's a severe bent on the tip part of the nose septum. Okay, so what typically is required for someone who has this kind of CT findings is. I would call it as more of a septal reconstruction rather than septoplasty. Okay. What is the difference? If you have a totally deviated bent septum, then we remove the part that is obstructing the passage of airway mm -hmm. and then we call it septoplasty because some plastic work or some molding is done or some change is done on the septum. Okay. Now yours, uh, the issue is there partly the septum but mainly also the soft tissues around it allergic so we got to take care of that 
but because there's less support here, so we'll have to build up the septum. So that's the time when we need the rib. Because we need extra support to build up the septum. Now only when we do this kind of a septal reconstruction, so to say, mm -hmm. wherein you strengthen the septum. And remember the tip septum is required because otherwise it will collapse. Of course, we need the tip and we need other grafts as well. But when you don't have a septum that's strong enough and then you really have to get that done first and then the other surrounding structures. So that's a pretty much the reason um, why we will mostly be needing a rib harvest. So rib harvest, nothing you have to be worried about. Mm -hmm. It's just another procedure that we take about 20 minutes max or 30 minutes sometimes. And uh, we'll harvest the rib. There'll be a couple of inches long, um, tiny scar. And that's it. And how the, I mean, once you fix it, how long does it take it to? So, so I usually say one week here, four weeks after. This is for the first and second uh, phases of healing. But you might have healing still going on which actually takes several months okay. before it all totally heals up so if you want to know exactly how many months before you start feeling the same way you're feeling now probably looking at six seven months or thereabouts but uh, the person from outside will not know uh, mm -hmm. what's happening uh, i'm being totally ignorant uh, but uh, once you fix it and is there some sort of, I mean, after a point of time, it falls off or something like that? No, it will get incorporated in your body. Oh, fine. So that's why we take rib. It's the best option for this mm -hmm. kind of work. We have alternative artificial materials available, but a lot of issues with them. They extrude, they get infected much later sometimes, even immediately, and then we can't contour them. So a lot of issues with that. With this, the, the good thing about rib is that we can sculpt it, we can shape it, we can contour it. Mm. So there's a lot of those kind of work that happens before we place it in. Uh, you can modify according to our needs. So. Exactly. So that is useful. And then it's a procedure wherein you get good quantity of cartilaginous bone, uh, cartilaginous uh, cartilage from the body. You know, it's in the ear and all, we get very small quantity. So that's the big advantage of rib. And another thing is when people have thick skin, mm -hmm. like you have, like so what happens, uh, the skin can't be easily molded. So we have to give a very strong foundation mm -hmm. and use that foundation to push the tip and then we get some improvement. Yeah. Otherwise we get none. And also, unless you don't do this, you can't contour the sides, you can't reduce, the whole nose will flat, it will just collapse. Yeah. So like I said, your tip support is uh, literally not there, so that's because of the lack of the, okay, the bone. bone, yeah. Okay, so <coughs> let me just uh, show them what I mean by saying that. So you can see this, the nose doesn't have support, uh, the septum is pretty much just there, this area is not having support. So the moment you give it support and then you can trim off different aspects and reduce the uh, enlarged nose or the proportionally larger size of the nose. Hi, I'm Jitu Raj and I'm coming from Kerala. Um, well, I came across uh, Dr. Richard's name through social media and uh, through a friend and I've seen the video shared by them. Well, my primary concern uh, was the breathing issue that I face a lot uh, every single day, uh, especially in the morning. Uh, our right, our left part of the nose is blocked. Uh, my concern and meeting with Dr. Richardson was that and uh, after consulting with him uh, he has assured me that that can be uh, i mean resolved and uh, there's uh, because of the lack of bone or the uh, on the tip part they will have to harvest a bone from my rib uh, that is the that is the other thing that they have men include, uh, mentioned me so uh, i believe that he, the issue would be resolved and the other thing is that apart from the more than the aesthetic, I wanted it to be functional. 
the breathing and added to the fact that we are wearing masks nowadays uh, it has become uh, more difficult to breathe so hopefully everything would be resolved after the surgery thank you So this is where we started this humongous nose and you can see he has this huge nasally bell grooving that I've also sutured so along with the ALR base excision you can see I've reduced that this is because the incision is all the way up here and then we've tightened it from inside so it's like a pexy of the muscle on the mid face while at the same time we're doing rhinoplasty yes we've done augmentation here you can see the difference, a rib was put in, we've also done work on the tip, uh, it's still bulbous but we've been able to shape it out to a much greater extent and you can see the difference here, also the ALR base on the other side, so he also needed a septal work, 
So sepal reconstruction was done. We're also going to show you some other views. You can see the side view here. So in this view you can appreciate the augmentation done here and the correction and the flabbiness of the ALR base. And we're also going to show you the basal view. So it's a good improvement in all the three views. It hurt a little bit. Put it in the Q stick here, bud. Yes. Okay. We can get the pre -op. No, no, I'm telling her to show the before. You can see while I clean, yep. if you want. So there's some sutures here. We're going to take them also all off today okay. because you're leaving tomorrow. So, first of all, I want to say thanks to you because you have been very cooperative in giving us free consent for taking our videos. Now I have to tell my subscribers that we do appreciate patients who give us the freedom to use the pictures because we are in a very small town and we are not in a metropolitan city but we do world class work and one of the ways how people can know what we do is by seeing what we actually do live. We don't make any, I mean, acting or anything. It's just what's done, right? And so now, uh, this was a very challenging case uh, because he had a lot of issues inside the nose as well. And that's going to take a while. And we've also had to use some blue color proline switches for him, right? You can have a look now. So you can see the improvement there. So what do you think? Good. It's good? Yeah. Will you remove this? Yeah, everything we're going to take off. And you know, in your case, it will take a little bit longer for it to heal because the okay. skin is very thick. And you know, when the skin is thick, there's a lot of um, fat glands basically okay. producing sebum, other things. So it takes okay. a little longer to heal. We will remove. That's why we asked you to stay extra day. No issue. 
my concern is i cannot breathe right now that will that will be so totally fine okay. yeah yeah all of that will be fine okay. and see from this area to this area basically the tip there's also graft inside uh -huh. which will take 4 5 weeks for it to heal okay then this bit and this bit there's no graft exactly uh -huh. we have some uh, well cartilage but that's not an issue uh -huh. but it's all dissected and sutured even here okay. so that's why you see here this grooving yes yes it's gone yeah. but you have to be little careful there because there's only stitches oh, so okay. even okay. inside layer we have stitches outside also there are stitches but uh, it you got to be a little careful for 10 days or 15 yeah, that's days fine, that's, that's the first thing fine. here this area this area for about 4 weeks a month and then yeah and then that's it and fine. then um, since you don't live very far away if you can yeah, come I come can, over I can, I can. after about uh, a month or two months whenever you have time you can come and uh, we can do a review no issues yeah we also going to show you uh, look that side yeah so we we'll probably show you some other views also can see that so again you see we've done the augmentation on the radix right you can we see yes, this area was like a huge depression is now reduced mm -hmm. and it's given a much more straight line and uh, i think we also want to show you this view because there is a good improvement mm -hmm. the tip is well mm -hmm. no way pointy but at least more uh, proportionally placed as you can see right And definitely, this knows what you've got now. It's going to suit your face more. You just see that the length, yes, and then the width. I mean, yes. absolutely. Give it a little bit more time, like I mentioned now, four, five more weeks. Okay. And you'll be good. We'll give you a tablet for swelling for maybe even two weeks. Fine. Just take one every night, okay. and a tablet also for your uh, will nasal congestion. Will there be some sort of cloud or inside? Could be. Okay. Could be. So that's why we'll give you this tablet. Many patients do have because. when we do the osteotomy and when we do the nasal work you can have blood in the sinus also okay so it takes a while for body to heal all of that okay yeah thank you